Today's video scares the bejesus out of me because it's all about celebrities that have sold their souls or some people think that they have sold their souls. Whether you think that's a metaphor or whether you think that's real, either way, it's pretty damn scary to think that people would go to such lengths to get fame and fortune. Let's check it out. An artist admits they sold their soul and then they spend their whole career making music about how they regret it. Part 1, J. Cole. When he was 18 years old, he made a song called I Can Bust and he straight up tells you, I sold my soul to Satan. Fast forward 10 years, he releases this album called Born Sinner with a demon as the album cover. And in his song Voluminati, he says, according to the preacher man, he needs Jesus in him. But the devil runs the TV, so the demon's in him. I'm in trouble did a deal with the devil and now i'm pleading with him give me my soul this man is begging please give me my soul i'm not letting go but the devil doesn't play fair nowadays it looks like he's trying to find god and fight for his soul i went and got baptized because i was like i felt guilty for even having a thought that like well if what y'all are saying is this and what y'all like for even having a negative thought about it like i went and got baptized started reading the bible i was scared as fuck and then it hit a point in my life where it's like I just fell off and like I let the answer come. And as I got older, I feel like I had a personal understanding of like what God is to me. Mm -hmm. Strong belief too. An artist admits they sold. What the hell? Mate, I know this, right. I know this happens a lot, right? That people claim to have sold their soul, but I some part of me thought it was just something that people used to say like uh, like a, a metaphor just sort of oh i i lost my family i lost my friends i lost this i sacrificed so much to get my fame and fortune i thought it was more of that type of thing but i don't know is it actually i mean because this that that sounds like he's really pleading for god in his life now i'm not like religious but mate if he's pleading and saying it in his lyrics as well, it's, I think sometimes you have to really look into certain lyrics to find out what, what people are struggling with. The Weeknd sold his soul to the devil. Canadian artist The Weeknd? Yeah. He posted some weird stuff on his story. Did you see this? No, no, no. This is on his story, yeah. yeah. Look, blood. Sign the contract. Nah. Louis. This is the page master, right? Yeah. The movie? Yeah. Look, Boom takes it, signs it. Why would he post some shit like that? No, I mean, he's watching the movie, but he's posting specifically he's that scene That as scene, fuck. the blood scene with the contract. And Selena Gomez, there was a leaked video of her saying she sold her soul. Look, just nah. listen. What? Just listen. So her first record ever. Ever Nah, that's wrong. <laughs> leaked. That's she, it, leaked. The thing is, she could be saying it as a joke. But yeah. We know it's not a <laughs> joke, bro. The contract is in her hands. You know, it's not a joke, man. <laughs> so, from what I'm gathering, is it's not actually selling your soul to the devil. It's selling your soul to the person in the chair making all of the rules for Hollywood or for success or you do this for me and I'll give you what you want, which I, I suppose is obviously selling your soul, but it doesn't necessarily say uh, you're selling your soul to the devil. But the argument could be the devil is working through the people higher up, right? Oh, mate, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. In the last few years, we have been seeing an obvious sinister change happening within the music industry. For There's a while now, the imagery being shown in the music videos not only doesn't match the songs, but is usually dark demonic imagery. Back in the day, the pop stars made music videos like this. Now, a pop music video looks like this. Yeah. Once upon a time, you would only see imagery like this in a Slipknot music video. Now, pop stars, rappers, and R&B singers all use demonic imagery. What was once only seen in the heavy metal rock genre somehow spread throughout all genres of music. People like DJ Academics claims this is only a gimmick to sell records by shocking the fans. I sort of get where he's coming from there. There's part of me that thinks, yeah, it is just um, a marketing ploy to sell more um, records and to get more views on like a YouTube video, right? You know, what's going to sell? Sex sells, right? So slap a few beautiful women into some leather, <laughs> black leather, 
throw some demonic symbols everywhere, get some fire, get some tongues sticking out and some some whips and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, my head's going a bit crazy now. <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's it's it feels like some in some ways it's a bit of a cop out though, right? It's like what's going to sell? Oh, sex sells. Just do that. Just do go crazy, you know, and and and, and be more outlandish. And it, and it's a I think it's got to a point of where somebody set a bar here and they go right okay well this person's gone here how can we beat that how, boom and how can we beat that boom and and then it just gets out of hand before you know it you're just watching some really twisted dark web shit on the internet it's like what 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 am i actually watching here what am i listening to but on the other hand it's like is it subliminal messages is it subliminal messages for like for people because it does it does show anger and hatred and and sex and violence, doesn't it? It does. So, it, man, it's like, what what is it? Is it for a message or is it just to sell to sell records and to sell views? This is exactly what Doja Cat is being used for. Doja Cat for the last year has been fully embracing the occult and is choosing to present herself as a literal demon. We have spoken about Doja Cat so many times on this channel, and each and every time she turns it up a notch. Her last music videos are all playing off the same theme, her rebirth. She is now Scarlet the Demon. All of this imagery started with her 20s. I, I mean, like, just imagine living your life like that, always referring to the devil and making your, everything dark and sinister. It's like, isn't that so draining? Isn't that so, like, hard, so much hard work? It's like, come on, get out there, enjoy life a little bit, you know? Like, she, I don't, I've never really listened to any of her, and I, I, I did cover her um, uh, on a conspiracy theory about the Friends, uh, Matthew Perry. So if you want to go and check it out, check it out. But yeah, she's just, I don't know, man. Whenever I look at her, it's just, it's just weirdness. Before and after they sold their soul, part fifteen. Today we have Demi Lovato. God, what it, what is it? It's just like, do, 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 oh my God, somebody's obviously sent her these lyrics to sing. Unless it's herself, and if it's herself, mate, like I don't know what you want. <laughs> I don't know what is it you want. Like, how can you go from singing Hallelujah, so beautiful, so elegant, look like a, a woman that you, that you would look at and go. You know, I mean, I'm married. I'm happily married. But I'm saying that most men would look at her and go, wow, man, that's what a what a, a lovely, beautiful woman who, who's who's innocent. That's a girl that I would like to marry one day. Maybe, you know, introduce her to my mum. Like, you know, then she starts talking about she she could suck whatever she wants to suck and she can F whatever she wants to F. Like, what? Really? Wow. That's really a girl that I want to take home, isn't it? And there might be women out there, well, F you, you know, we don't care, like, you know, what, whether you want to bring us home or not. Well, I, okay, I get that. It's okay in the bedroom, but, you know, when, like, kids are looking up to this, it's, like, that's what I'm worried about. In 10 years' time, when kids are no longer kids now, and they're getting into sort of, like, the, you know, the, the young adult, what are they going to be thinking and saying and doing? Needless to say, sold my soul. Sometimes they don't want to and they're, you know, gaga, we can't get, you know, the, the frequency's weird and, you know, it's sounding a little bit strange. And I'm like, if you don't get this right now, I swear to Lucifer, I'm going to... Why is your hand... <laughs> hey, yeah, really good. Yeah, I swear. Like, what the hell are you saying, love? Like, who, who the... Uh, what? What are you talking about? Because <laughs> I mean, I'm a devil worshiper, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I have tickets to see the devil worshipper. Roman is See, I think that some sometimes they say it out of jest because they know that some people are calling them that, so they play on it. A crazy boy 
who lives in me. And he says the things that I don't want to say. <laughs> he was born, a, you know, just a few months ago. I think he was born out of rage. He was conceived in rage. What are you, like, what the hell is going on with these people, man? Really? Is it that, is it that important to you? The fame and fortune? Because I actually feel quite sorry for the people that are in these situations because it seems like a lot of them don't want to be there. They, they realize it was, seems like a good idea at the time. And now it's not. It looks like Doja Cat is finally addressing the Illuminati rumors Yo. surrounding her. And you're not going to believe what she has to say. From humiliation rumors to Doja finally coming out as a Satanist and even talking about leaving the music industry, the story keeps getting wilder and wilder. <laughs> Did Doja Cat really get possessed on her 27th birthday? And if not then, why is she acting so weird and dressing like the devil? Let's find out. Uh, yeah, no, it, I mean, it feels like I'm covered in, mm -hmm. in stuff on the outside. And then a stick up. It's, it's hard to describe. Place. You got it. Um, definitely hard to describe. Doja Cat and Illuminati allegations go way back. But ever since when her she 27th say? birthday, things have been getting more and more crazy. Some of her fans even believe that all of this is because her 27th birthday party wasn't really a birthday party, but more of an initiation ritual. Just a few months before her birthday, rumors that something weird was going on with the Doja had already started floating after she shaved her head and eyebrows live on her Instagram. No one knew what was happening, and while initially everyone thought that maybe Doja was just going through some kind of mental health issue, it soon became clear that something more sinister was at work. Not even the people close to Doja knew that she was going to do this with even her makeup artist even texted her that she was coming over after finding out god man like what happened to you what happened to you what Doja was doing from her Instagram live. Some of Doja's fans, however, thought Doja was actually going through a humiliation ritual. Now, in case you don't know, a humiliation ritual is a ritual where you have to humiliate or embarrass yourself in a very public way to be accepted into the Illuminati. This might sound a bit far-fetched, but the thing is, big-name celebrities have gotten huge success after being publicly involved in something. I've heard about that, right? That, um, that some actors... Uh, male actors are told to dress up as a woman, you know, and, and do some sort of skit or dress up as a woman for a film to be sort of like accepted in the, the, the Illuminati or something like that. I've heard about that humiliating. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock, for example, was thought to be Will Smith's humiliation ritual. Will Smith even ended up crying on stage for his actions. And while he did get banned from the Oscars for this, he did get his first Oscar right after the slap. <laughs> well, no, because he was already... No, hang on a second. He was already... That was on the same night. They already knew that he was going to get his Oscar. But he was already massively successful. He didn't need to slap anybody. He was what he's the biggest name one of the biggest names in the world so he didn't need to no he didn't no I reckon that's a bit I think you're pushing it a bit there yeah mate bloody Marilyn Manson I had what well, I, I got one of his um albums actually um it was when I was into skating and I thought let's just try different musics you know and uh musics music and I just got his album. And I, I, I tried to like it. And I did like it. I remember some tunes on there actually I thought were pretty damn good, you know? Um, that, was the only, that was the only album I bought. <laughs> I don't sort of listen to him. See, that's like, I again, I'm not religious, but just doing that, eating the Bible, it, 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 I just think, I don't know, mate. I don't know. That's just, just a bit too much. You know, it's like, come on, mate. I get it. It's your brand. This is what it's all about. But I just find that even that I, I wouldn't even do that. And I don't, I, I don't even really believe. But if there is... I don't want to be doing it just in case. I don't even want to be doing that anyway.
I just think it's so disrespectful for any any religion, any, any belief out there. I think it's so disrespectful. I wouldn't even do that for the bloody... If there's a... There, I think there is. There's a devil's Bible. I wouldn't even do that for that, you know? Just stay away from eating fucking Bibles, mate. Life or they wrote their death. I was in the prime of writing death. Murder was the case. I wanted to make a song like that because I heard a song Ice Cube had where it was like down on the pet spot. It's me and JD and we selling more birds than a pet shop. Mm -hmm. Oh, why did niggas have to let loose? I heard six pop from a deuce deuce. A black car service. Some, some, by him getting shot, getting took to the hospital and some shit. But I was like, nah, I want my shit to be about me cutting a deal with the devil, then getting sentenced to the pen, and blah, blah. The, my story was like that. Then the His shit story. Happened. Not exactly like the song, but the shit happened was like, damn, I'm in a motherfucking murder case. Life or they wrote their... So it's almost like he manifested what was going to happen. I, I asked him to leave, but he can't. He's here for a reason. People have brought him out. People conjured him up. Now he won't leave. They ripped this muscle called the basal bagel. And this sends an electrical signal the opposite direction up the spine. So remember, your brains send signals to the body down the spine. When you whip that basal vagal muscle, it sends an electrical current up the spine. And it hits the brain. And when it hits the brain, it splits the psychological paradigm of the person into two. So basically, it's like you have one memory card, and this process gives you two. But this second memory card is empty. And this is where they then perform the ritual to where another uh, intelligence can come inhabit your body and where you have dual personalities. Oh. But this is just like Beyonce becomes Sasha Fierce or Nicki Minaj becomes Roman and Martha because they've been through the vagal basal process. And this is just like on camera where Beyonce says on camera, when she get on stage, something takes over her and does what she's naturally not able to do. So when we talking about selling your... Yeah, I... All right, I'm just paying, don't like to use the phrase now, but devil's advocate, right? A lot of people say that, right? Even in sports, when I when I put on my suit or when I put on my helmet or when I wear my gloves or whatever, something just takes over and I know I'm in the zone, right? So is he just referring to that? That you're nervous and nervous and nervous and until you get on the stage and you hold that mic and you're just like, right, I'm here, I'm doing this, you know? your soul right you can't technically sell your soul is not worth anything what you're doing is you're selling your physical experience for natural things that don't naturally have a monetary gain so what they say is right we'll let you have cars money clothes and all of this shit that don't matter but this being wants to exist inside of you for a certain amount of time when you on stage right and you have fans what do fans do your fan in your house projects when it projects energy so when you have all these fans projecting energy into you right it does something to your soul so when you're on stage that don't be these motherfuckers on stage and when we talk about mk ultra and neurological psychological programming <laughs> those don't be the original inhabitants of these vessels on stage those be entities who want to have a physical experience when you uh perform your song you do your ritual and boom they inhabit you so when you go out there all of the energy and shit that's being conjured up, they're experiencing that. So you're basically trading your physical existence. That's what you're doing. So, you know, it's 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 uh all Masonic occultism, magic, and the shit is real. So they not only use your body for financial gain, right? Humiliate you and things like that, but it's actually a uh, an entity i think you've got some you got part of it which is just humiliating you getting to you to do what you want for financial gain and power and things like that and then you've got the other side of it which is literally allowing the devil inside you or some sort of entity inside you you know to have fun and games mate this is so dark this is so dark i was just going to do a few videos but this is like really interesting oh billy eilish mate like I i'm sure She's just proof Billy Eilish sold her soul. It's rumor though now mm. um, that I sold my soul to Satan. I wonder why. 
Now, what's up with the injections? That's the second song depicting them. Oh, what the hell? Fallen Angel? That's two videos of her being injected with something. Black veins? Black goo? She gets injected by multiple hands. Then she grows wings. Falls from the sky. Yeah, Billy. Oh, it's a rumor. It's just speculation. Oh, look at what she doing. What are you doing? This is just so twisted. I think I need to stop. I think I need to stop looking at this shit, mate. Because this is giving me goose ch chicken, chicken all over my head. Oh, let's let's end it on Sam Smith. Because like he really pissed me off. He really upset me, <laughs> right? Because his music, he was a he came across a really nice guy. He like, you know, great music, fantastic voice, and then he just went off the fucking hook and like it just just started doing some ridiculous stuff, wearing the most ridiculous things, and his videos, and like fucking tassels and shit on his nipples. Like, come on, man, come on! Like, what are you doing? Again, like kids look up to him. Look at the state of this. This is Sam Smith before and after Hollywood. This is Sam Smith. Let's see if the devil comes to you, right? And so you, I'll give you a hundred million dollars, but I want you to turn your back on God. Would you turn your back on God or will you take that hundred million? Mate, I'm not being funny, right? I am literally, I am not being funny. And again, I, I stress, I'm not, I, like, I'm agnostic. And I would love to believe I really would love to believe in God. Yeah, I'm agnostic. If somebody says, gives me more proof, I'd be like, yeah, all right, mate. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. But even with a hundred million of somebody that doesn't really believe, yeah, or agnostic, I ain't taking that hundred million just, just on the off chance. <laughs> just on the off chance. And also, like, what have I got to do for that? It's like turning your back on God is one thing, but like that, I think spirals out of control what what else can manifest from doing that it's like come on mate nah i ain't doing that 100 million it's like what's the difference between really 100 million you're gonna spend that 100 million in your lifetime if you unless you really really try and bought some ridiculous things like yachts and planes and things like that you know Tell me what you think, man. This was a crazy, crazy video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want me to see more videos like this, please let me know. Um, but it, I'll be honest with you, it does freak me out a little bit too much. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Get the merch at CasperSite.com. Just Rambo it.